And there she goes. The next 34 OneWeb satellites have begun their journey. They're heading out north over the steppes of Kazakhstan, and Soyuz is pushing hard against the Earth's gravity. Vincent, we're burning the four boosters at the moment and yeah. the engine on the main core stage, but it's really the boosters that are doing the yeah, work right yeah. now. The, the first stage of the launcher consists in four boosters around, uh, around the, the central core, so uh, 45 ton each, and each powered by one RD-107 engine producing, yes, a total thrust of uh, 340 tons at liftoff. So the job is to get uh, the launch vehicle away from, uh, from the Earth, yeah. Because, of course, gravity makes it hard for us to leave. It's the reason why we're able to stick to our planet, but it makes it much harder to get away from it. David, your satellites have lifted off. How are you feeling now? Um, a little, always a little nervous. It's like a roller coaster. You know everything's <laughs> going to be okay, but... Uh, it's, uh, I'm just very excited to see them up and safely where they're supposed to be. So let's have a look at the tip of the nose of the uh, launcher there. And there you can see the boosters falling away. This is the scheduled moment for separation of our boosters. They burnt all their propellant. We don't need them anymore, so they can fall away. And we're shedding weight. The lighter we are, the faster we go. That's the name of the game. We're burning the separation confirm of the booster, yes. And you have separation yeah. confirmed. So Vincent is getting information in his ear uh, from from the teams in Moscow. So that's good. We can confirm separation. So we're burning the main core stage now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the flight of the of the second uh, second stage of Soyuz, so the, the core stage. And um, during approximately uh, three minutes, uh, and after that, so the. The next stage. Yeah. And, and we, we said you're getting information in, in, yeah. in your ear. Where is that coming from? So it comes from teams in the CVI. So in CVI in French, it's uh, Control Visuel Immédia. So it is an operational team uh, who is tracking the launch vehicle and receives the, the telemetry data from, uh, from the launcher. So they can consequently confirm when the major events uh, have uh, occurred. And at the Guiana Space Center, the CVI team, uh, have uh, their offices on a hill so that they can receive all the telemetry, the information coming from the launcher. But yeah. of course, <laughs> on this occasion, they're in, in Moscow in the Mission Control Center there, which I, is known as Tsup. I believe that's where they are. But I, So we were looking earlier. We could see the top of the launch vehicle. Let's see if we can have a look at it now. We call it the fairing. Uh, maybe we can see the pictures of the simulation, simulated pictures. Look at the right-hand side of the launcher, the top of the launcher. The fairing is encapsulating our satellites with their special dispenser, and it's protecting everything inside it from the rigors of the launch, Vincent. What kind of things? Yes, the fairing has uh, several jobs. So most notably, it's uh, protecting the satellites from the severe uh, condition of the launch. and atmosphere. So the acoustic vibration uh, at liftoff, so very loud uh, uh, vibrations, and also friction when the, the launcher is uh, flying through the, the dense part of uh, the atmosphere at uh, very high, uh, high speed. Very, very high speed. We're traveling at speeds of kilometers per second. Uh, we will be reaching eight or nine kilometers per second later in the flight.